what's going on guys today we're going over the best settings in apex legends mobile so we're gonna jump into it i've literally this is gonna be a little bit on the fly so a little bit early as far as these settings go but i'm giving you guys everything that you need to use to do as good as possible all right so let's go ahead and jump into it if you guys are new to the channel i plan on posting a ton of tips tricks uh, enjoyable content overall just gameplays stuff like that so make sure you hit that subscribe button drop a like on this video if you do enjoy and then turn on your notifications so you never miss another upload so jumping into our basic settings here we have aim assist on again that's just gonna help you out so for now just leave aim assist on bolt action sniper uh, bolt action sniper firing mode this is basically do you want to tap to fire um, or like on the tap do you want it to shoot or on the release so like do you push your finger and then let go and then it shoots versus just tapping the screen and it shoots all right auto ads while using a sniper rifle this means that it basically scope in when you're using a bolt action sniper rifle i have that off i want to be able to hit fire right or essentially no scope my sniper rifle uh shotgun firing mode so again this is on the tap when you tap your screen, your shotgun fires. So then again, same thing as the sniper. Now this hold to ADS, release to fire. Basically is you hold down and you aim down sights, then you release and your shotgun fires. So it unscopes and it fires at the same time. One tap ADS and fire is off. Uh, this is just for every other gun. And then secondary fire button uh, is on. ADS mode, I have hold, which means I wanna press my scope button and I wanna hold it down and that's gonna aim aim me in and then when I let go of that scope or ADS button it unscopes me or you can do mixed which is a hybrid which means you can tap and hold and it'll aim in or you can tap just one time and it stays there. quick throw grenade is on basically this means as soon as you grab your grenade to go to throw it it is just going to instantly throw it scope mode we have classic mode shoulder mode and hybrid mode again these are just kind of styles of how you like it the classic mode i think is just pretty much default what you guys are going to use normally and then gyroscope is basically if you hold your phone if you turn your phone to the left your character will look to the left if you turn to the right your character will look to the right and this is all just different aiming but that's essentially gyroscope as you move your phone uh like in real life your uh your character moves in real life in that same direction so it can kind of help you aiming and stuff like that now we're getting down to the advanced settings so auto fire is off for me weapon auto cycle is on ads button rotates uh camera basically this just allows you as like i believe it's simply when you're pressing the ads button and you're turning with the ads button your your screen will actually turn so i i have that uh on as well you can also turn that off it's, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what some of this stuff does so right now i just have it on it hasn't been a problem for me quick optic switch is off for me which is just as you go higher or as you have like higher level optics it'll just increase your optic which i don't really care about permanent melee display button is off this is just a permanent like punching button that you can use to melee or essentially like knife in call of duty this would just be like a like a knife button or a melee button like a punch button that you could just use that's always on that you can just go around and melee people and have a button just to push uh, I don't think we're gonna melee people too much, but you can have that on um, continuously throwing grenades. Uh, this is again just for grenades, where if you have grenades, you can just keep throwing them over and over and over until you run out of grenades, which I have on. Tactical ability release method um, is on classic, and this is basically the standard mode to use abilities with more accuracy. Ultimate use method is classic as well. Um, these are both for your special abilities. Uh, again, kind of difficult. To, I don't know fully, hopefully, that you guys can understand some of these, but I just have classic on both of them, which is just a button that you would use. Okay, let's get into the gameplay settings. Most of these, again, are pretty basic, but very important. Auto opening doors means that when you run next to a door or you're running up to a door, it's going to automatically open. You're not gonna have to have a button that you press, right? Ping button is on. This basically allows you to ping items or ping areas on the map. Uh, next up, we have double tap screen to ping. Uh, this would be, again, that same thing, except you just tap your tap your screen twice on the area that you're trying to point to. Map radar alert on. Now, I believe uh, don't quote me on this. This is showing you like different little pe like 
like uh, I think it's like a bullet that shows where people are shooting that just gives you a little bit more of an understanding you can look at your map if you hear shooting and figure out exactly which direction it's coming from crosshair is on for me this again just shows you like the little extra crosshair thing which i like some people like an empty screen um toggle between first and third person this is a little button that you can press um, that shows third person or first person and you can just swap between the two uh, i have my fob pretty high i actually had it down at like and i think i'm gonna go back down it was like 97 for both of these um which is basically how far you look and again I'll, I'll, i plan on making a full in-depth once i really understand everything and showing you actual examples so make sure that again you hit that subscribe button i just want to get you guys like a basic understanding so that you can go oh i have this off this is on this is on this is on and that way you can start running with it and being a little bit better right off the rip movement settings use crouch button to rotate the camera that's on that's again that same thing as as you're crouching you can while you're over that button you can turn and your screen will turn as well which i think might be like not as beneficial but i've had it on i haven't had a problem with it uh same thing for jumping so climbing controls classic or convenient i just have classic again that means where i go to a wall double jump and hold or uh, hit jump twice and then hold it uh, crouching controls uh, tap or hold now this would basically just mess up your slide so if you had crouch controls to hold it would basically mean well actually I, I think when you're crouching you have to not be moving so I just I'd rather be able to tap crouch and then crouch and then tap crouch and stand up versus having to hold crouch to crouch and then have to hold crouch to stand up so and advanced options here ping information all of this is i think pretty basic here nothing really uh too crazy um other than healing so continuous healing or whether you just want it if you need to heal you're just going to keep healing so like your med kits stuff like that they're just like going to keep cycling so you use one maybe you need one more it's just going to automatically start that second one versus if you have that off you can just go one time but you if you also hit your aim button you're going to immediately be able to unstop that so i'd rather just have my heels on um zip line interact button i have uh off and for vertical i have on but again i just double tap near a zip line and you automatically go up so nothing well i should have had on smooth and ultra meaning that my quality is the lowest and my frame rate is the highest so the rest of this is pretty much uh, all basic uh anti-aliasing is on i have that off as well dynamic shadows you can turn off again if you have a lower end device that makes the game a little less clean and as like beautiful but it allows your device to run better so i just turned all of those off they should have already been off now voice you can i guess use built-in so that's just gonna allow your phone mic to work i didn't realize that mine wasn't on but yeah here's settings again these are all custom i'm gonna talk about how you can find good settings in this game uh, but yeah for the most part all of that is really basic this is what i'm rocking with right now this is what i found um fixed speed is super important that's what i think and uh, that's what I would recommend. I went custom and just kind of adjusted these a little bit if you want to try kind of these, but they're a little bit on the slower end for sure. Now, this is my HUD. We'll go over my HUD specifically in a future video. Going over this, this is basically what it looks like when you're fighting people. So you can go whether what kind of crosshair you want, if you don't want anything, if you want to show when you break their shield, which I just have everything to be honest. And then um, this is basically when you take damage. And I'm going to actually go with this one instead and that way i basically it's just like call of duty mobile where when you get hit there's a line in the direction that you're getting shot from this is a 3d icon and then that was what i previously had so um, you can either run all three of them or you can just run one or the other and here i think yeah you just have to pick one uh pickup settings this is basically what do you care about the most so auto pickup is on for me that's important uh, hide pickup list during combat. That means when you're shooting or getting shot at, your combat li uh, your pickup list disappears, which is important. Um, auto pickup intervals, long or short, and then when you're picking up, like when pickup list is closed, uh, stop auto pickup. So 
Uh, I have that I think on off or it should have been on off so that I continue to pick up things even when I am not over there. Um, hold to none of that's really important. Okay, so consumables, what do we care about? Obviously my Phoenix kits, do you want one of those? Do you want two of those? Do you want three of those? So we'll go with two if we can get two. Obviously those heal up you fully from uh, your health bar and there the shield cells. Um, we'll go with eight, I think those are good. At eight shield batteries, those are just quicker combat. We'll go with four of those, I think that's good. We'll go with four men kits as well. Syrin syringes are fast combat as well. We'll go with eight of those because I think those will be slightly more important. Um, the arc stars, those are pretty good for breaking down doors, etc. cetera. Uh, vault keys, I don't know what those are to be honest. Now let's go assault rifles. This will show you at how much you want to pick up of everything. So I think that I want to pick up a lot more uh, for the Havoc rifle because I think that's good. And then the flat line I like as well. So we'll get a little bit more there. SMG at 270, I think that's good. Uh, these I want to pick up a little bit more here because I, I was really doing well with those weapons. I think that those were pretty good. Sniper, I think those are all fine. Shotgun, I think is fine. Pistol, I think is is again pretty good as well. So LMGs a little bit more on those guys and on my assault rifles a little bit more on the Havoc rifle. Uh, we'll just go all a little bit more. Uh, language obviously is your own language and then everything else is just kind of basic information about the game. So hopefully this guide, hopefully this guide gave you a good understanding of what you need to use in Apex Legends mobile edition of the game, what settings are important, what settings aren't.